Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and today's tarot card of the day is the Six of Stones, Exploitation. And uh, this just fell off. Um, so it fell off the end, and it came back to the beginning. And, uh, you know, what this card talks about is the overuse of resources. I talked about this uh, yesterday within the story with the Hooded Man. You know, as he's looking down at the wren and talking with the wren about, uh, you know, what's going on. That was the card yesterday. And uh, this is an imbalance with what's going on in the world. Uh, you know, we see a lot with global warming and, you know, fires within, you know, Canada and U.S. and across the world. And, um, you know, a lot of that's being blamed on global warming, you know, which I understand. But a lot of it's blamed on us for misusing our resources as well. Um, the exploitation of the planet's resources is, is motivated on a flawed belief of entitlement that, you know, we're entitled to this land. We're entitled to, um, you know, using these resources for, you know, for our benefit, not for anybody else's benefit. Um, and not to point fingers at companies or organizations or anything like that, but it's it's more of a situation of, you know, we are using our resources in the in the in the wrong way, you know. We all like electricity. We all like water. We all like you know the lifestyle that we have where we're wherever we are at. But at the same time, you know, we take for granted the electricity coming into the house, the powering our air conditioning, right? Uh, you know, powering our heat, right? We take for granted of uh, running that water longer than we need to, you know, when we're um, let's say, filling up our pools or, you know, even doing dishes, uh, things of that nature. So, um, you know, those those are just two examples of, uh, of uh, resources that we have. But it's also, you know, the utility companies that, you know, manage those resources. Are they doing so correctly, right? Are they giving people the enough water to, you know, uh, keep their community sustained, right? Um, you know, is the electrical being maintained the way it's supposed to be? You know, those are just a couple of things that, you know, come to mind. But, uh, you know, as the world continues to grow financially, educations, uh, government, you know, the health systems, everything breaks down eventually. We lose sight of what, uh, what happens. You know, we put these, you know, processes and procedures in place to maintain this stuff. But at the same time, yeah, we might not have the in manpower. We may not have the, you know, the, the company may not have the resources to do what they need to do to keep things maintained. And, you know, then when something happens, a storm comes through and lines go down and it disrupts the power grid, you know, everybody's pointing fingers at stuff. But, you know, we as individuals have to do our own uh, conservation project, you know, within our own home, you know, making sure that the water's not running, you know. Uh, all the time when you're doing dishes, you know, put it in a bowl, wash everything up, you know, put it in another bowl, rinse it all up, you know, let it go. Um, same thing with electricity. You know, are you using too much to keep your home heated, you know, or cooled, you know, you know during the, during the time. So um, even even the resources in the health system, it's um, I've got my own bias towards the health system. Um, I try to do things uh, more naturally. Um, juicing and things of that nature, and uh, I don't really have a buy-in on, you know, doctors or anything like that. I, I do go see a doctor when when I need to, but if I'm looking for um, if I'm looking for something, you know, to alleviate pain or to do a checkup or something, it's more I want to try to do things more on a uh, health benefit than anything else. A hawk just flew up onto the telephone pole over here, so. Again, you know, in, you know, here's that hawk. He's flying around looking for food too, right? And he's going to use his resources the way he needs to. So, you know, what it comes down to is, you know, when that breakdown occurs, we tend to lose faith in our leaders. We tend to lose faith in the systems that are out there. Um, uh, you know, everybody wants to point the finger at everybody else instead of pointing the finger at, them, at themselves. And, you know, sometimes... Um, that's necessary, but other times it's, you know, when you're losing homes and you're losing possessions like we've seen in the Maui fire uh, on Lahina 
and um, you know, and in the Canadian fires in, in British Columbia and um, you know, Northwest Territories, all that. I mean, people lose their houses. You know, they want to put the blame on somebody, but at the same time, it's um, which which is all you know. I don't want to say that's good or it's bad, but you know, the the companies that are managing those those electrical lines, the the, the people that are out there fighting the fires, they're doing what's best for for the communities and for the countries to put out those fires as quickly and as you know fast as possible um you know but when tragedy happens you know people people you know why me why does this happen to me you know they do the woe is me thing and, and that's you need to you need to move forward right you need to look at and say how what can i do different how can i move forward doing things different in in uh, working with our resources um and then pass that on. You know, look at you know all the lessons that could be learned. You know, with La, in La Hina, with the community and everything of that nature. So, you know, you know when I look at the spread, you still got the three nines out here, and I, I realize that the hooded man is card number nine as well. So you know now you've got four nines. You know, and this, the exploitation card dropping off and coming back is just a reminder to, to you know to use those resources correctly. Um, Stones is all about materialism, and um, you know one of the things I've learned over the years of managing my mom's estate, um, she was worried about all this stuff, right? And there's a lot of stuff in in all of our houses that you know we're kind of collectors, we're kind of hoarders, right? Could it be used for something else? I've donated a lot of stuff. I've uh, you know, taking it up to Salvation Army, I've given stuff away, right? Um, I've set it out on the lawn, just let them take it, right? Uh, maybe somebody else can use that stuff. You know, use those resources wisely. And it's, you know, the biggest resource is money, too. You know, are you using your resources financially in the right way? Um, you know, that hooded man's talking to, to the wren. Um, you know, and the wren is a page of arrows, and it's you know it's time for seclusion. So here here you've given an opportunity to sit back and think about what's going on, right? To understand, you know, there's there's hope on the way, right? Um, and as you're as you're contemplating that, you know, you're saying to yourself, "Am I reusing my resources right?" The Queen of Arrows. Um, let me just start off from from the end of the week, right? You got that respect. So that, so this, so the re Six of X, six of stones, exploitation dropped off and came back. But now you've had, you know, you've got that respect with the wood wolves, the nine of bows. You got, you know, doing some traditional things, right? Uh, so maybe some traditional healing terms, traditional saving, right? Maybe um, looking back at tradition, you know, how did how did we use our resources correctly, you know, ten years ago, right? With that with that nine of stones. And you're able to celebrate a little bit with that five of vessels, like the ecstasy. Through through using the resources right, you came across with that nine of nine of vessels, that generosity. Maybe you're able to help somebody else out with the resources that you did have. The Queen of Arrows is is again pointing toward the hooded man and the six of stones, and it's it's offering you an opportunity of. Um, running your own castle and you know the these last couple two or three cards uh the queen of arrows the hooded man and let's see if i can get this up the six of stones right she's pointing toward the hooded man and, and the resources so she's telling you to you know to look within right are you using your resources correct and you know are you taking the time to maybe look at your finances um, you know, to look at your energy consumption. Winter's coming on here in 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 the northern hemisphere of uh, you know in Michigan, and you know, are you ready for the winter? You know, are your you know do you have the right ceiling on the window so you can you know keep some of that heat? You know, things of that nature, and it's just it's just a time to sit back and reflect and understand. You know, based on that hooded man, how are we using your resources? So, so to me, the last three cards are, are, are very personal. 
um, looking looking within, looking within you know your own system, more or less. And spirit saying you know you know gather your resources, make sure you're using them the right way. So that's today's card of the day: the six of stones, exploitation. Uh, use your resources correctly. This is D for the Spirit's Path, and I hope you enjoyed the message. Uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification button, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, God bless, and stay safe, everybody.